Hey, what's going on, guys? I Studios here from the Cinema 4D tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do caustics. Uh, so you've seen the final result on the thumbnail. So I'm not going to explain what it is. Uh, let's just get started. First, we're going to add in a plane. This will be your floor. The width. We'll set that to two. Not two thousand. We'll set it to five thousand. Uh, we want a pretty big floor. Two thousand. Two thousand. And new material. Apply to the floor. We'll just call this material floor and this floor material is nothing special all I'm gonna do is make the color a bit wider say 85 and the reflectance I'm gonna turn the default specular down to 40 and I don't want just because I don't want a very reflective floor actually you know what? we'll turn it up to 100 screw it we'll leave it at 100 it's fine um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a sphere make it editable go to polygons mode and this was actually suggested by one of my subscribers or I don't know if he's a subscriber but at least a viewer uh, and I thank him. So just hit U and L on your keyboard to go to loop select, which will allow you to select um, in a loop. It's very helpful. So thank you to that person if they're watching. Uh, and we're just going to select every other row of polygons. And we're going to right click and extrude. I'm just going to extrude it inwards a bit. I will extrude it outwards. It's fine. I'll extrude it outwards. I, I just want to do this for, because um, I want interesting. I want it more interest. I want my caustics to be more interesting than just a sphere. Okay, and we're gonna rotate this sphere as well a bit, just like um, like that would be good. And I'll move it a bit like that. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a light. Move it up there, and in our uh, light settings here, you can see lots of tabs. Just open up the caustics settings and just enable surface caustics. Now this alone won't make your caustics work. We need to do some stuff in the render settings, but we'll worry about that later. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a, the glass material. So new material, we're going to call it glass, open it up, disable color, enable transparency. Uh, in the refraction, set the refraction to 1.6. In the reflectance, bring in the specular here, in the reflectance channel, bring the width down to 12 and the specular strength down to, or up to 90. Um, now, anywhere really between 80 and 100% specular strength, along with like 10 to 15 specular width, will make a good glass, but this is just the values that I prefer to use. Um, okay, so that's that. You don't need to worry about that anymore. That's the glass material done, so we'll apply that there. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna deal with our render settings. Um, so, go to your render settings, effect, Ambient occlusion. Well, really, we don't need ambient occlusion. Um, oops. Uh, I mean, I'm going to enable it anyway because I always enable it. Just as a rule of thumb, I enable ambient occlusion. But it probably isn't really needed for this glass scene. But whatever. We'll have it there anyway. Uh, enable global illumination in the preset. Just set it to object visualization high or preview. I'm setting it to preview for this video. You want to set it to high for your final render, though. Okay, so I'm going to set it to preview. And um, effect caustics. That's it. That's how you enable caustics. Um, and also, I should mention, this is the strength of the caustics, how bright the caustics are going to be. So, that's just, this will be, like, really bright. This will be, like, not so bright at all. Um, so that's that. Now, we'll do a little test render. And we'll see how it looks. So, I'm just going to go like that. And we'll do a little test render. And you can see, caustics are working. So, you get pretty interesting caustics here. Um, something else you may want to look at. I'm pretty sure that these photons actually counts. It doesn't count. I mean, like the photons are kind of like a, like a quality slider. I think obviously more photons will take longer to render, but you can see, I think this produces a, a bit of a cleaner image. <clears throat> that might just be me though, but more photons will take longer to render, but, um, have higher quality. At least that's how I understand it. I could be completely wrong though. So don't take my word for it. Um, Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys later. Bye!